Raymond James Stadium, will host Monster Energy Supercross Round 5 this weekend. February weather in Tampa is typically all-time great, but there is a serious chance of rain this Saturday. Rain this time of year is usually affiliated with a definitive weather front versus the daily showers that summer brings. And today I'm going to introduce you to tracks for the Tampa Supercross this week. Hello, welcome to the channel of M's Update channel, a channel that collects various stories of the motocross industry to tell and analyze. Before going to watch, please press like, press share, press subscribe. Let's support each other too. And help by super thanks. Send it to me I would be very grateful and have encouragement to make the next clip and apologize in the narration. I can't say, so I have to robot speak for me. The start this weekend is back to the longer variety with a long left 181st turn. This is the best version of SX starts, by the way. The first rhythm is going to be very straightforward as there may not be many options. Riders will likely wheelie over the small bumps, exiting the first corner and then go two, three, one into the next netted bull berm. Exiting this right hand bull, there is a seat bounce triple that riders will want to get right because the whoops are up immediately behind it. Casing it or having to go two minus one will severely impact rider entry speed. The whoops are long, too, only exacerbating that need for entry speed. With a long set of whoops and an opportunity for a lot of entry momentum, blitzing will likely be the move. Exiting this right hand bowl, there is a seat bounce triple that riders will want to get right because the whoops are up immediately behind it. Casing it or having to go 2 minus 1 will severely impact rider entry speed. The whoops are long, too, only exacerbating that need for entry speed. With a long set of whoops and an opportunity for a lot of entry momentum, blitzing will likely be the move. A 90-degree right brings riders along the far end zone section of the stadium and into a 2-3, with the triple being the standard supercross length and variety. Upon landing the triple, there is another 90 right that brings riders along the would-be sidelines. There is a chance for riders to triple onto a tabletop and step off would set them up nicely for the next set of shorter whoops. A netted bull berm sends riders back the other direction and into a very interesting sand section. Remember back in 2020, this similar type of sand section wreaked havoc on riders. This could be a pivotal section, especially if we get a deluge on Saturday night. After the sand, a left-hand bull berm sends riders careening down the start straight backwards and past the mechanics area. This long straight into a tight right-hander will also be a block passing zone, especially given its proximity to the finish line. The step on step off is on the exit of said tight right-hander, but watch for riders to go inside and roll step over on the final lap to protect the inside. The finish line jump is a steep double with an immediate left hand corner on the landing that begins lap two. 